hello, so I've seen all these articulated dragons and I thought maybe I could do this using Tinkercad. So that's my basic shape right there, that's the body, and I'm testing it out right now. I just used that half sphere and a couple of rings to create a shape that will interlock with each other, or interlock with itself, without actually um, sticking when it prints. And now I'm trying to build kind of a, a dragon scale looking thing here. I've removed those original pieces. And now I'm giving my dragon scale a test to see if that works. That's looking pretty good. I'm using the duplicate feature there. Now I'm putting the dragon scale on a box so I have something that it balances on. Taking this uh, parabola shape and trying to expand the scales even more. So I'm just adjusting the size of that parabola, I'm flattening it, I'm turning it more into a scale, and then I'm just trying to see what I'm going to do there. I took another uh, half sphere, I pancaked it a bit, and I'm just finding a way that it kind of fits into that shape as well. I duplicated it and moved it to the other side. And now what I have here is kind of like a, a scaly body piece. Now I'm duplicating all of them to check to make sure that they still fit together and I haven't um, broken the way they connect. That looks good, so I deleted them all. Now I want to get rid of that uh, rectangular piece because that's not very um, natural looking. I moved into a, a circle that I pancaked again and then I uh, squeezed in on itself. So it's a nice uh, elongated uh, oval there. I checked again for fit. And now I'm duplicating some of the pieces that are on the top and I'm dragging them down into the sides because I want this body piece to really kind of wrap all the way around and uh, look like it's connected um, all over the place. All right, now I'm changing some of the colors, seeing how it looks, duplicating again, testing to make sure it all fits. I made it transparent there, which is a nice little trick you can do to just check and look in to make sure it's all connected. I'm doing the same thing there. Everything looks good. Now I have a nice body piece. Now I was reading a book where dragons had star tails, so I took the star shape and I rotated it, duplicated a bunch, pancaked it, and now I have a tail connection piece there, which I thought was pretty cool. I'm going to take the other star and adjust and adjust and adjust until I have something that I really like that looks like a nice dragon tail. All right, and I'm just going to cut off that protruding part, line it up, and then hopefully I'll be able to uh, get the star piece right into that ring there. All right, that's looking good. Now we're going to adjust and there happens to be a dragon head in Tinkercad and that's pretty cool looking so I'm just going to use that dragon head that was there. There's dragon wings. That first one didn't work out quite nicely so I'm going to adjust and use this orangey one. Duplicate that, rotate it, now I have wings on both sides. Uh, I just tilted them up by 22 degrees so they look like they're uh, about to be in flight. And now I realize that my dragon's a little small, so I'm gonna expand the body, and that's it. Please reach out if you have any questions.